About one year ago, a massive war between fitness YouTubers broke out called the No Hands War. It all started with a Russian soldier eight years ago, who through the power of limitless vodka, unlocked the ability to do push-ups without hands. <laughs> <laughs> As fitness YouTubers, when we discovered this video eight years later, we were shocked. How could a mere human, who is no different from any of us, defy gravity and do push-ups without his hands? We all attempted to unlock this ability ourselves through multiple different methods, but none of us were successful. We ultimately had to settle for the mortal version of no hands push-ups, which is basically an explosive push-up, except you have to bring your hands to your sides and hold them there for as long as you possibly can, creating the illusion for a split second that you are doing a no hands push-up. We all called each other out, seeing who could do the most no hands push-ups in a row. The record was broken over and over and over again until it was set so high that no one could break it anymore. I attempted to break the record multiple times, but the realization that I was no longer capable of doing so hit me. The L I was bound to take inched closer and closer with each failed attempt, but I knew I couldn't let myself take it. So I went back to the drawing board and changed up my strategy. I may not be able to break the record anymore, but what I can do is create a new one. And thus, the no hands pull up was born. No one had set this record before, so all I had to do was do as many as I could and I would once again be the record holder in the no hands war. I got the record, baby. Let's go, let's go. But my record didn't last long. Countless fitness YouTubers much stronger than myself shortly defeated my record over and over again. And at that point, I thought maybe I should just take this L. And quite frankly, I did for several months. Until now, I have decided to make my comeback and reignite this war with the no hands dip. First, get into a dip position, dip down to a minimum of 90 degrees, and then explode up, bringing your hands to your thighs and keeping your arms as straight as possible. Before attempting this challenge myself, I wanted to have a couple of random people at the gym try it out in hopes that they set the initial record for me to break. This is also going to be my way of gauging how hard this challenge truly is. You're supposed to explode up, your hands are off the bar. Tap your sides, catch the bar, back down. What? The first person who tried the no hands dip actually did quite a few reps, but the only issue was they weren't exactly the cleanest reps. So I had a couple other people try it and they also seemed to have a hard time performing a single rep. But maybe the issue is not that the no hands dip is hard, but that people just don't have the motivation to actually want to do one. So I went back the next day to try and motivate people with protein bars. All right, Gavin, I came up with a special move. I'll okay. see if you can do it, it's pretty difficult. And every single rep you do, I'm gonna give you one protein bar. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. That's so slow. That's really hard. That's brutal. All right. All right, so you didn't really do any kind of reps there, but just for trying it, here you go. Have some protein bars. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, of course. Sir. For Brandon. sure. All right, it seems like motivation isn't the issue here, and that the no hands dip is just a genuinely difficult challenge. Now it's my turn to try it out, and after watching everyone else fail, I'm a little worried I'm not going to be able to do a single one. So I'm going to give it a shot for the first time, see if this is even possible. I've just been jumping into it. Let's see if I can do it with just my upper body strength. Oh, okay. All right, it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. The dip bar kind of caught my hands there. I couldn't get it to my side, so I have to explode up a little bit higher. Okay, okay, perfectly straight might be difficult, but tapping the sides of your legs, for sure, I could do that. Do you want to try it out really quick, Derek? You know, it looks pretty dangerous, but I think I'll give it a shot. Let's see if you can do one. <laughs> just like fall. What happened? I fell and I couldn't catch myself, man. <laughs> nah. Oh Wait. gosh. It's just so hard to catch yourself after you let your hands go, man. One final rule before I do my attempt, you cannot rest at the top of the rep. If you have to rest at all, it has to be at the bottom, and then you have to explode up to the top again to do your next rep. Alright, we're gonna get our music in here, and it's time to set the record. First attempt, first attempt there. I don't even know how many reps I got, but that is so difficult. Before I do my next attempt, Derek's gonna go for it one more time. Derek, every single rep you could do, I'll give you five bucks. You serious? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Oh my God. All right, pressure's on right now, let's go. I, I could definitely get at least two in a row. Two in a row? I could definitely do it. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that didn't look good on that, that did, second. Yeah. That, that, that drop looked weird, yeah. yeah. It's not as easy as it looks, I promise. But there you go, Derek, an extra 10 bucks for you. Now let's go for my second attempt. Nice, nice. One more, come on. Oh, no. Nah. Uh, yeah, that uh, was 12 clean reps, though. 12 clean reps. Yeah. I had to stop there. I could have done more, but it just would have been crappy cheat reps. So there we go. 12 reps is the new No Hands Dip World Record. Brownie, Igor, Abnormal Beings, Ben Pulse, and Chris Kogias. I challenge all of you, as well as any other fitness influencer, to try out the No Hands Dip World Record. Make sure you guys smash the like on this video. And also, here's a $10 Amazon gift card code. Here's a $20 one, and here's a $15 one. Thank you for all of those who are subscribed and watched the full video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future giveaways. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.